The breakdown of the negative ego brought the old dog to the feet of the young Bodhisattva. He asked the young Mo Harishi to guide him shot by shot. Despite the Mo Harishi's wisdom and higher level of training, it is clear I need to listen, trust, and verify. Absorb what is good, block out what is not one with me. Mo has certain ideas for the way he plays, and as he learns my tendencies, he can guide me much better by my reaction to ideas. I need to understand that not everything Mo says is going to gel with me. Ooh, what a shot! Good caddy. That's, that's about right. Good caddy, bro. Here yeah. you are, caddy. <laughs> 155 yards. I'm going to wait for Mo to come and instruct me where to go here, but today is just a beautiful day out here. There's nothing to complain about. I mean, many things to complain about, but I'm not going to complain. So we hit a bomb, but I need some assistance. We've got one caddy, we've got two caddies. <laughs> right, how's you see? What's your name, caddy? No, in no, no, in you. How old are you, no? Samsi. 20 years old. Me eh? sip, very good. Oh, Samsi. Okay. 13. Okay, okay, no, no. Okay, 154, what do you think? Come and stand here and talk to me. Into the grand. Into the grand. So just hit 160, man. Just in case it, you catch it a bit heavy. Okay. I mean, like the into the grain you can like, get a little bit shorter. Okay. Ah. Okay. What did I do wrong? Nothing much. Man. Like the thing about. The thing about, about the shot is not just focus or routine, it's about technique too. So. See, that's, why, that's all I do. Is that kind of that kind of chip. I think it's into the grain too. Is that, my, is, that, is that like a good excuse or is that... No, it's it? gonna be like that into the grain. It's gonna stuck a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Second dark spot. This one? Yeah, between those two. Like yeah. If, if that one, you need to swing a bit harder than, than what we did. Okay. Wow, that's really quick, eh? Yeah, just don't think you are really engaged in the shot that much. You know, maybe it's just like a practice. I mean, like when you say you're gonna land here. But like your practice swing probably go like halfway there. Okay, I got you. So the practice, the first practice swing was way too soft, huh? Yeah. Very soft harder on the pilot. <laughs> so just, just move the ball a little bit left. Move my left. Move left. No, this, this right here. When, when I tee up the ball, yeah. I never tee up on the into the green. Oh, the, oh, so it's tee up into the grain and down grain too? Yeah. I never knew that. <laughs> it, it, it changed a lot, man. Oh, shit. No wonder sometimes my three iron gets stuck. Yeah. And the ball goes fine, but I feel like that was wrong. Yeah. So this is into the grain. Yeah. Down the grain. Oh. <laughs> I just learned something Secret. new, brother. Secret. Okay, don't hit it here. I think it's fine. You just have, you just need to make a sense to hit second shot. Okay, wait, let's go try the three wood. Yeah. This is an important round for me to understand the role of both the listener and the guru. The guru can suggest and find what is best for a right specific person, but wording the concept correctly is its own skill. This is a good lesson for me. Methods of implementation are different for every person as well. You cannot make someone do something their body and mind will not do. You must find alternatives. The skill of the guru or teacher is to make things digestible without confusing them. Thinking is good, worry is not good. So, like when you say when you when you chip and then 
you just don't feel good about blading it or like anything, I think that's worriness, not thinking. Okay, because know. like if you think, it need to be like the positive stuff, like uh, what you need to do, not about what it might come. You know? <laughs> that's just worry, huh? Yeah. I got you, go. That's fine. But that's the point, right? For a lot of people, we're gonna have this idea of starting at left with a little fade. And then you know what's gonna happen? I block it right like that. <laughs> so you're like, you know what I mean? So then it seems pointless to even go through that huge process. Even pro don't do that, man. Like even pros, we missed. Yeah? Yeah, so it's fine. Okay, so let's see if we can do it again. I mean, the, the last shot, you probably have the one of the... So your ara like alignment was probably the best I have seen you in two one. days. Yeah. Okay, so let's try it again. Yeah, good alignment. Yep. And yeah, that's closer to the line. Yeah, little pull fade, but it's that's okay. why we work on the technique so much, man. To start the ball online, like, like we don't actually miss it way left or right. Like we we try to start the ball online as as straight as possible, and then we fade or draw it from where we want. Techniques play a lot of like a, play a lot of role in 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 the pro, man. You can hit two balls because if you, I mean, if you. If okay, my feeling here is. Okay, because because it's on the down, so it's a good lie. Yeah. But 260, it's gonna basically fade, or I'm gonna double cross myself and go left. So it's okay. I can go to that bunker, right? Yeah. But no, I mean like. But what's can, the incentive for me? So I run to the front of the queen, just you see chip and putt the body. Because like I always think about the body, right? But then it's. No, I mean like you can hit nine if you if you not feel com like comfortable with. I mean, I'm quite comfortable with the two iron now from here, but mm. I try to understand what is the incentive. If I catch it well, mm. I might have a twenty yard pitch. Yeah. If I don't catch it well, maybe I got a fifty five I mean, like, yard pitch. Yeah, I mean that's 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 the that's the thing about. What if you like don't catch it well? Where it's gonna finish? Like where do you feel it's gonna finish? Like in the water like or six, in no no in left. So I'll have 60 yards. Okay. And so then compared to 150 yards, like which one do you think you're gonna get closer for the third shot? Hmm. I mean, if I can pitch the ball, of course it'll be closer. But I, that's my point. Is I'm so full of doubt that I will start to think I'm going to chunk it or leave it, blade it over the green with a pitch. So you're but not comfortable with 655 shot, right? Not now, but maybe if you oh. show me the practice swing like we did the other one. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. So let's try that. Yeah. Let's hit two iron. Like you can hit the half swing here. Just. Just it's try to run it on. Okay. Aim at the middle of the bunker. Try to just just fade it back. It's gonna fade, man. Yeah. Just hit a fade swing to the right side of the bunker. What a shot. Too much fade? Oh, too much fade. Is it okay? I think okay. So that's another part that we're skilled, bro. Because from yeah. that lie, I don't know what to do with a two iron, right? Yeah. So now. I'll try the nine because I pretty much know how to hit a nine. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, stay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I say. Like, you need to think about like what shot you can hit, and then like where do you leave the ball on, on the third shot if you hit the two iron. Or if you hit the 9 iron, which one is going to be a better play? Okay. Yeah. I mean like... So the 9 iron and the 2 iron went the same way. So the 2 iron wasn't a great strike, it just rolled up. So I wasn't confident with the shot. 9 iron I felt happier with. So it's left us basically the same. So I'm just going to finish the hole with the 9 iron ball. Yeah, not bad. 
Just a bit right like, away. It's like everything come out right, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not like it's slicing. It's just blocking. Yeah, yeah. just a little bit push. Which is happening. Head on, Peter. Oh, right. oh Mary. That's so steady. Give me one more. Yeah. Just no, try I've to calm. Shot, but now all just of try to calm it to that little bit more. Yeah, I think. Uh, because like. If it, if it me, if I say, grip down a little bit, then I'm going to walk back and then do it again. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, commitment is very different. Yeah. Do you normally do a clock system? I, yeah, you, I normally do. But I, I mean, I haven't practiced. So like, what, what is the 30 yard shot? 30 yard shot feels to me like... No, I don't go a clock, I go a percentage. Okay. So it feels like 50. Okay. To me that's 50. Okay. That's 75. That's like a quarter. Okay. So it feels like 50. Like that. Do it again. 30 yards. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. A little fetish, right? So Mo just explained to me on that part, there's like, what he finds is that I blame myself for putts or I get disappointed with putts or something, but he said often it's not even a bad putt, it's just that was a bad line. So I went right to left and I put it out there really soft because I know it's going to come in and the, the, the slope is going to take it, but it was actually a left to right putt. So it was the read that was wrong, but the commitment and the putt was actually quite good. So that's something to remember, instead of getting so frustrated with ourselves, maybe we need to actually understand the real root of the problem. Okay, what do we got? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna have to nominate a shot. <laughs> I'm gonna hit a fader <laughs> away from the water. Fader. Yep. Fairy. Not the best, but that's gonna work great. We got in the first. Now, okay, so tell me why did I do that? Uh, and I'm not sure. There can be no ambiguity in the concept, but at the same time, must be left for the student to implement their own way. This just takes time. Sometimes a swift kick up the ass is needed. Mo told me the following, which stung, but all true. You don't have enough skill to hit that shot reliably. You are not good enough to do that. Hit what you know for now. You expect too much and don't put in enough work to expect that much. This game is hard enough. Why are you wasting your mind power on anything but the shot you're going to hit? Oh. You know what you help with uh, when you hit up with a draw? Position of the tier also help. And the slope on the tee also help. Yeah, this, one, this slope is right, to, is, is right to left draw, right? Yeah, yeah. And then when, I mean like, if you want to hit a draw, but then you put the ball on the right side, then it's, you're not going to draw it. You know what I mean? You mean because of the angle or what? Yeah, because of the angle. Yeah. I mean, your subconscious is going to go, oh, shit. Yeah, so yeah. So you're yeah. going to hook it or something. Okay. I think this one I feel okay. I'm just going to hit it at the middle of the middle palms yeah. and draw toward the light. Oh, I think the light is a bit too much. No, not not that far, but oh, yeah, yeah. the the edge of the, the house on the behind. Yeah. The left edge. Oh, too much. Okay. 
is that bunker? Bunker, yes. Most do not have the patience nor the true desire to implement and iterate. The ego needs to be opened to accept the new way. Sometimes you have to go the opposite way to find the middle way. This is no secret, but someone can try a new concept once and give up. The new concept did the opposite of what they had been doing. This is perfect because now you have the other extreme. Find the middle. Yeah, see? You're not gonna fade too much with this one. Look, that's really into the grain, huh? Yeah. You're not gonna fade a lot with okay. this shot. So okay. don't need to aim where you lift. Okay, just have to pin there. Yeah. Just a yeah. Bit more, right? Mm. Yep. Yeah, man. What a shot. Woo! Five yards over. Better, 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 better. Yeah. Better, better, the better, biggest better. difference between someone like Mo and someone like your average 10 handicap is that Mo showed up every day. He never gave up. He doesn't listen to eggheads talking about his game compared to someone he has never had the chance to play against. Lions do not listen to sheep. You lose when you give up by default. You usually give up too early. Three feet from gold, Mo was a 10 handicapper a few years ago. Imagine if he went back above ground three feet from gold. 